Hey guys, I want to talk to you today a little bit about some financial stuff. Uh, this is a major area of fascination of mine, uh, just, just analyzing personal finance and always finding ways to you know, do things more efficiently or, or of course like accumulate your wealth and your, your uh, build up your well-being uh, as early as you can in life because if you are able to do that, uh, you're basically buying yourself options to, to do yourself uh, yourself right and basically do whatever you want to do in your life and I've always contended I mean for me personally these pursuits of financial health let's say are just all about buying my way out of the rat race you could say or, or, or like I said buying your freedom to do whatever you want when you want to do it so hang in there uh, I'll periodically release uh, things where we talk about finances because I've I've learned a lot and I think I've done okay for myself so far but still have a long way to go but there, there are some things like the piece of advice that I want to share with you today that I am hoping will re reach you know men and women I'm out, women out there that are maybe you're, you're 18 and you know you're, you're earlier in life or whatever or, or even this advice could go for anybody at any point in time in your life I mean it's never too late to to work on this stuff and try to get your your finances together and do better for yourself but as I said I mean if if you are a young person listening to this and you can just take this advice and actually put it into practice uh, you will be better off and I think you'll find success financially earlier on in your life um, this is something I wish I'd thought of earlier, you know, in my days. It took me a while to figure out, but uh, let's cut to the chase here. So the, the title of the post, as it says, is um, Find Your Rich Dad. Now, this is a, a specific reference to the book by Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, it's a very popular book. It's probably one of the, the greatest books on, you know, independent financial wealth creation, let's say, of all time. Um, you, you just top on Google and uh, quick search. If you're unfamiliar with this book, it will just you know, yield all sorts of, of hits on this one. But uh, you know, go, go buy the book, read the book. It's, it's very good. But the, the essential gist or one of the major messages of the book is that you know, Robert Kiyosaki, when he was a young man, he had what he called a, a poor dad, right? This was a, a, you know, a loving, caring father, of course, but was not so financially astute, didn't instill these, these lessons about how to you know, create wealth and procure it and grow it and all this kind of stuff, just because he didn't know and he couldn't pass it on to his son. But Robert, at some point in his life, um, you know, had these desires to go out and, and seek this knowledge. And so he, on his own accord, went out and found, found this like, quote unquote, rich dad, where he talks about, I think it was a, a, a friend's father or something that he, he finally like sat down with and he just asked him to school him on everything that he knew about finances and how to be financially successful and all this kind of stuff. Because this other dad was like a business owner and he'd done a lot of different things and he clearly found success in this realm in his life. And, and that was just a lot of what the, the book, like I said, it was talking about was you know, you, you've got to find um, some people you know, around you that can kind of educate you on this. And, and that's the, the point that I'm going to make to you here today is that it's one thing to read this book and just kind of soak in the, the knowledge and the information and say, okay, yeah, that's a cool story and I see what he means. And, you know, you might think to yourself, well, I've, I've got a poor dad as, um, as described, uh, you know, in Robert's book there. But the, the challenge they have to you, and this is the thing that I did that really catapulted me to the next level, let's say, in my financial journey, was I, I personally, in my own real life, I went out and sought a rich dad, right? I, I, I think for all of us, you know, you'd, you'd be surprised. I guarantee you there's a member of your community somewhere. Maybe it's at your church. Maybe it's uh, a coworker, a boss even, or, or a friend's father, or, you know, an uncle, or any number of places these people are at. I mean, there's a ton of them out there in the world that have found this, like, financial success. And the funny thing about this, too, specifically, is, like, you, you'll be really surprised that a lot of really rich folks are extremely humble, so you might never know it um, you know, uh, just at, a, at, a, at first glance. But I mean, if you, you talk to people and if you get the sense that this is a person that, um, you know, maybe they hold a lot of real estate, they're a business owner, um, it, they, they have some clear signs without maybe, you know, coming out and just saying it, but you can tell who the financially successful people are in this world, who has their stuff together. And so that's what I'm saying is I, I want you to go out there and actually find one of these people, like physically. I want you to find a physical person that you can sit down with and basically say this exact you know same thing or do what Robert did and just say hey like I'm trying to find my way like I see you have success like I want to emulate your success I want to do what you did I want to have what you have like I need help like I, I have a poor dad quote unquote if you you know if that's your case and you'd be really surprised that 
you know, a lot of these folks are, are actually eager to share their knowledge or they're happy to share their knowledge or they're happy to kind of coach you and let you maybe fly under their wing for a little while or just kind of observe what they're doing or, or just even just hearing their story and taking their advice, it goes such a long ways. And th that was my tack on things is I, I had a, um, it was like a, f a family friend, but uh, I had known for the longest time that the guy was like very successful. I never never knew how successful he was until I actually did just what I'm saying. And I, I just, you know, I, I went in like very casually and just said, hey, like, you know, I, I'm just looking for some advice like financially. Like I didn't like talking specifics, but like, can I buy you a cup of coffee? And like, will you please just like sit down with me for an hour and uh, just talk about some of this stuff um, with me? And as I said, I was, I was very pleasantly surprised that once we actually sat down, I mean, I, I just learned a ton more about the guy and his story and what he had done in his life. And just like, you know, furthermore, I didn't realize how wealthy he actually was. It was to a much higher degree than I, I anticipated. It was very surprising. But with that being said, I mean, even in that first session that I sat down with him at, you know, just in that hour, I mean, I learned a tremendous amount. But the cool thing about this was I, I continued to develop like almost sort of like a friendship or like, you know, he did kind of become like a, like a father or like a, and uncle sort of figure in my life and he helped me and coached me along and helped me um, grow my little real estate empire which you know, maybe I'll, I'll talk about another day but uh, or at least like start on it let's say I'm, I'm, I haven't found the success that, that I've dreamt of quite yet but I'm, I feel like I'm well on my way um, I've been very fortunate but at the same time I worked very hard and uh, it, a lot of it has come about is just you know me being out there like seeking this knowledge actively and this just finding the rich dad is part of that active seeking of knowledge that I'm recommending to you guys and girls out there and like I said the earlier on that you can do this in your lives uh, it's, it's obvious like you're just gonna be more equipped with more knowledge that's going to aid you and assist you in these pursuits like if this is something that's that's important to you or of, of interest to you and I, I realize this isn't this isn't as huge of a deal for every single person walking the face of this earth but I, I think for most most of us, we do have these desires and motivations to to do well financially because, as, as I said, it equates to so much more in our lives that potentially could be positive if, if you know if used you know correctly, of course, uh, that uh, that will be good for us. So, like I said, advice of the day: you know, if you've got a poor dad physically, actively in your life, in your in your tangible. Um, social circle or you know whoever you can reach out and and, um, and seek this sort of mentorship from I, I highly encourage you to do that so I um, hope you guys are having a wonderful day we'll talk to you soon